Hi, my name is Liliana Ketchman. I'm here at Famous Birthdays and I'm going to be doing a Q&A. How did I celebrate my 11th birthday? Who? I don't really think I did anything on my 11th birthday, but I remember that I wanted to go out on the boat. So that's what we did. We, had, we went out on my dad's boat that he actually made. He kind of made a boat out of like other boat parts. I don't really know how we did it, but it was like a surprise when we came home from Dance Moms. So I went on the boat and it was super fun and we went tubing. What is something you wish you had known before you started dance competitions? I wish I had known that Abby would put zip ties in our head with our head pieces because it was a complete shock the first time when she told my mom to put zip ties in my head. I was like, what? We're putting zip ties to hold our head pieces in? She says she doesn't like the way bobby pins look because you can see them and she doesn't want to cover the headpiece. So instead, we use zip ties, which is way more uncomfortable. <laughs> what solo from this season of Dance Moms was the most challenging for you? The hardest solo I did on Dance Moms was my straight jacket solo because I was wearing a straight jacket and I didn't have any arms. So if I fell, I physically could not get back up. Like Abby wanted me to pick up a tissue in rehearsal. She dropped her tissue and she made me pick it up and I was like sliding like a worm against the floor and then I picked it up and I was, you have to like rock to stand back up. It's very hard. It seems easier than it actually is. It's way harder. What do you remember about your first ever dance recital? Okay, this is a funny story. So, at my first dance recital, I was like, I was two. So, I was laying on the floor and I started playing with some dust on the floor. So, basically, I like didn't do stand up or do the dance for like half of the whole dance. I was just laying on the floor playing with dust. So, everyone in the audience was like, is she gonna ever like move? Is she sleeping? Like, what is she doing? So that was a funny first recital. <laughs> Next question. How was it working on a music video with Bianca Ryan? It was really fun working with Bianca Ryan. I feel like she should have so much more. She's such an amazing singer. In my opinion, she's one of the best singers out there. So I feel like she should be so much more popular. And I feel like everybody should know her because she has such an amazing voice. Next. What would you tell your viewers who love dancing but might be shy or have stage fright? I would tell them to be yourself. It's okay to look up to people, but don't try to be like them because then it just takes all the fun away from everything. And just dance and be you. If people make fun of you, who cares? You're doing what you love. Just do what you love and it doesn't matter if people make fun of you because who cares? It's what you love, so do it, no matter what. If you could do a duet with any of the original girls from Dance Moms, who would you choose? Ooh, that's a hard question. I think I would choose Bryn. I did do a duet with Bryn, but it wasn't like the best duet. So if I could do a duet with her like now, I feel like it'd be so much better. So that's who I would choose. I would definitely choose Bryn because we both have blonde hair. It's like a mini me and she's like an older version of me and that's what we both call each other and I actually just got to see Bryn again so that was really exciting so definitely would choose Bryn. If you could back up dance for any artist who would you choose? Billie Eilish. I would definitely choose Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish call me if you ever need a dancer in one of your videos. I love you. You are a great singer. Yeah. DM me. What do you miss most about living in North Carolina? The weather. It's a weird thing to say, but the weather. In Pittsburgh, it is freezing in the summer. You have to wear like a coat. Oh, it's the worst. But in North Carolina, it's like a little cold in the winter. It's really hot in the summer. It's nice. It's like good weather. But in Pittsburgh, it's freezing cold everywhere. And it's awful, Ugh, muggy. I don't like Pittsburgh. <laughs> what is some of the best advice you have received from Abby Lee Miller? The best advice Abby has ever given me is put all the insults in one ear and out the other. Although she does give us some insults sometimes, she still tells us to put in one ear and out the other, so I, I, sometimes she's just really mad and says a lot of things. So, <laughs> next question. Is it hard to balance school with dancing and filming? Honestly, no, not really because we have tutors we have a tutor, so if you ever just have a question, you can just ask her or him. 
I mean, it's pretty easy because all of our school just grades it. It's not like our parents need to grade it or we have to have a principal grade it. It's already graded. So you just put in your answer and it's correct or incorrect. Next, where do you see yourself in five years? I want to see, I want to see myself in a series, like a TV show, but like a scripted TV show because I really love acting and I've been getting into that. I've been doing a lot of auditions lately and I'm really hoping that I get something pretty soon because that's like my dream. But I'd also love to be a dancer on Broadway or an orthodontist, if none of that works out. <laughs> that is the last question. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow my Instagram at LilyKOfficial and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Liliana Ketchman.